hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to do a comparison video between the ITER s23 plus and the ITER s23 4g please if you're new to my channel or this is the first time of you coming to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell starting with the camera model the ITER s23 4g comes with 50 megapixel main camera 8 gigabytes of ram with color changing back design moving to the ITER s23 plus it comes with 256 gb storage and 8 gigabytes of ram then you can expand the ram to another 8 gig of ram making it 16 gigabytes of ram and the phone also comes with amoled display with 1080 by 2400 pixel resolution i did a little improvement there as for the processor it comes with you know sock t616 processor with malia g57 mp1 Moving to the camera aspect, it comes with 50 megapixel main camera, 32 megapixel selfie camera, and 5000 mAh battery capacity. This is also the same battery capacity that comes with ITER S23 4G under display fingerprint. As for the color, the ITER S23 4G comes with mystery white color, and the back changes color depending on the light condition. I think that is an upgrade for ITEL. As for the ITEL S23 Plus, it comes with two colors, Lixiano, which is the one I have here, and the Elemental Blue. Please don't go anywhere, be with me and watch the video till the end. And also drop your comment on the comment section below. Subscribe, it won't cost your data, please. As for the ITEL S23 4G, moving to the right hand side, we see the volume rocker key and the power button. And the power button also serves as the fingerprint scanner. It's actually quite fast and responsive. At the bottom of the ITER S23 4G, we get the headphone jack, the primary microphone, the USB Type C cable, and the mono speaker. So I don't see much difference there. Let me see what comes with ITER S23 Plus. Moving to the right hand side, you will see the volume rocker key and the power button. This time around, the S23 Plus does not come with side matter fingerprint. Now moving to the bottom, you will see the speaker, uh, the USB Type C port and the primary microphone and the dual 4G SIM slot. The design of this phone now accommodates the SIM house at the bottom instead of the regular position at the left corner. That is by the way. And as for the ITER S23 4G, it comes with all the necessary documentation in the bus. First of all, we find the MTM virtual card and the protective case that fits the phone perfectly. It covers the back of this smartphone, but it doesn't cover the rear of this smartphone. Secondly, we find the 10 watts fast charger and the USB Type C cable and a bay of earpiece so these are the accessories that comes with ITER S23 4G back to the ITER S23 Plus it comes with a big boss first of all you see the protective case secondly you find the phone wrapped just like the previous ITER phones I like the design secondly we find the same rejector tool a bay of earpiece the USB type C cable now moving to the bottom, I hope you can see the difference between the ITER S23 4G and the ITER S23 Plus. There is no headphone jack on ITER S23 Plus. The ITER S23 4G and the ITER S23 Plus, both of them comes with 50 megapixel main camera, 1080 curve display on the ITER S23 Plus, offers an a massive viewing experience. And the AMOLED technology provides vibrant color. As for the ITER S23 4G, it comes with 6.6 inches display with 90Hz refresh rate. While the ITER S23 Plus comes with 6.78 inches display. So when looking at both, you can see the difference. Both comes with 90Hz refresh rate. As for the price, the ITER S23 4G goes around 66200 which is equivalent to $87. Why the ITER S23 Plus goes around 148,000, which is equivalent to $140. Another aspect is that the ITER S23 4G comes with Unosoc T606 processor. Why the ITER S23 Plus comes with Unosoc T616 processor? I hope you can see the difference. The Unosoc T616 processor choose to be more faster more than the Unosoc. T606 processor that comes with ITER S23 4G. Another aspect where the ITER S23 Plus shines is that it comes with punch hole camera under the display. Another aspect is that the ITER S23 Plus can pick a brightness of 500 nits, which can be easy for you to use under the rest of light. Before I forget, the ITER S23 Plus does not come with charger in the bus. Why the ITER S23 4G comes with charger inside the bus? You will get the 50 megapixel 
main camera on ITER S23 4G, an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Speaking of photos, this is some of the pictures taken with the ITER S23 4G and the ITER S23 Plus. Both of them come with 10 times optical zoom, which helps in bringing fire objects closer. So take a look at the camera quality. Tell me which one is better on the comment section below. This is the video from the ITER S23 4G using the 50 megapixel main camera. I zoom up to 10 times optical zoom on the ITER S23 Plus. On the other side, these are some of the pictures taken with the S23 Plus, both portrait and the normal mode. On the ITER S23 Plus, there is no major difference between the portrait mode and the normal mode. Moving back to the ITER S23 4G, when looking at the video stabilization, you will notice that when you zoom it, it gets a little bit washable. The ITER S23 4G comes with Android 12, while the S23 Plus comes with Android 13. When looking at both two, I hope you can see the difference. And as for the ITER S23 4G, it comes with side matter fingerprint, while the ITER S23 Plus comes with under display scanner, which serves as the fingerprint and is quite fast. I might say that that is an upgrade for ITER from side matter fingerprint to under the display scanner, and you will also find 16 GB of RAM on the ITER S23 Plus. Why the S23 4G comes with 4 GB of RAM, then you can expand to another 4 GB of RAM, making it 8 GB of RAM. Playing game with the ITER S23 Plus with 6.78 inches display, wow, I enjoy playing game with this device both in high graphics settings and low graphics settings. Moving to the S23 4G, the gameplay was okay. With the 6.6 inches display, for me, I prefer the gameplay with the ITER S23 Plus because of the 6.78 inches display. And another aspect is because of the processor. It comes with Unosoc T616 processor, which can be easy to handle games on highest graphics settings. Back to the ITER S23 4G, the Unosoc T606 processor and the 8GB of RAM with 128GB internal storage. It can be easy for it to handle whatever thing you want to do with it, but on a certain limit for the expandable ram you can expand to another one gig of ram two gig of ram or the four gig of ram making it eight gigabytes of ram and as for the ITER S23 Plus, which comes with 8GB of RAM, then you can expand to another 8GB of RAM, making it 16GB of RAM. I might say that is an upgrade for ITER. Coming to my conclusion, if you want to go for the ITER S23 Plus with the optical one play scanner under the display, 16GB of RAM, 32 megapixel safety camera, 50 megapixel main camera, and the Unosoc T616 processor that comes with ITER S23 Plus. Comparing with the ITER S23 4G, which comes with 4GB of RAM, expand to another 4GB of RAM, making it 8GB of RAM. That impressed me so much. 50 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel selfie camera, and both come with the same 5000 mAh battery. With the Unosoc T606 processor, I might say that both two phones, there is no major difference apart from the design. Both come with 50 megapixel main camera. Another difference I notice is that the ITER S23 4G comes with Unosoc T606 processor, while the ITER S23 Plus comes with Unosoc T616 processor. S23 Plus comes with 32 megapixel safety camera. Why the S23 4G comes with 8 megapixel safety camera? Lastly, the size S23 comes with 6.6 inches display. Why the S23 Plus comes with 6.78 inches display? Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting and the effort I make when doing this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I drop a comparison video just like this one you're watching. Catch you guys on next one. Thank you.